throughout this session. Let me just take a little bit of house, housekeeping before I um, make my final comments. Housekeeping being that at the beginning of each session, we normally name all these committees and the changes to committees that have been placed. That was not done as I was off the island during that time, but the new committees will be up on our website uh, next week. So members can take a look at it and public of course see it as well. If housekeeping haven't done, let me first thank those, uh, particularly the deputy speaker who stood in my stead whilst I was off the island. And I thank you members for conducting yourselves as we expect you conduct whether I'm here or not. And i will also like to thank those in this chamber and those in the listening audience who sent many well wishes and prayers and the time that I was off the island with a, in a family medical situation. I thank you and we deeply appreciate those thoughts and those prayers that were expressed by not only yourselves, but those outside in the listening audience, as I've already said. As we now stand here on the eve of the Christmas holiday in the break, as we take time to spend Christmas with our family and friends, and we all speak about how we look forward to this time of year, just to be able to share that extra love and closeness with our families. I'm gonna challenge us to consider outside of our shores and what's going on in other parts of the world. You know, I'm gonna quote from Martin Luther King who said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Uh, his words, uh, Dr. King's words, disperse the notion that only people directly affected by any sort of injustice can protest against it. His reason that human beings are all tied to one another and whatever affects one community has the potential of affecting all. And I say that in this context is as we take time to celebrate this Christmas season, let us be mindful of the unjust wars that are taking place around the world today. And I stress the unjust part about it and that the unjust wars need to find, need to be brought to an end. There are lives just like we live, fathers, mothers, children, grandmothers, grandparents who are being affected by this and loss of lives and just a daily way of living. As we sit here on these shores in this Christmas period and enjoy the peace that Bermuda offers us, let us not forget the injustice that is being done in other parts of the world in these unjust wars that are taking place. Let us pray for these people, pray for at the that this time of period will bring us, this time of year will bring ceasefire to all of those unjust wars because it's going beyond, beyond any justification for what's taking place. I thank you, enjoy the holiday, and we look forward to being back here in February.